Good morning, Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School, uh, December 25th, 2022. Uh, so I wanna wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Hoping everybody's getting through that storm that came through the country. We had about a 45 degree drop in temperature over a matter of just six or seven hours. And so we spent the last three days out here uh, busting up water and hauling water in five gallon buckets and putting hay out. And, but I think, I think for us anyhow, it's, uh, it's about past, it's doing better. Um, so I wanna, ask you, I wanna ask you a question, all right? What makes you uniquely you? I think a lot of times folks, especially young folks who I tend to empathize with and speak to more often, they're not comfortable because they're going along with a society that's around them and they're trying to fit in the framework uh, of what everyone around them or on whatever social media they're on says that they should be, how they should look, uh, how they should conduct themselves. And you can't be comfortable with yourself if you don't know who yourself is. And you can't know who yourself is if you don't stop looking at how everybody around you is uh, and start looking at what makes you comfortable and what makes you uniquely you. There's roughly close to, I guess, about 8 billion people on this planet, uh, but there's only one you. Uh, would you stand out in a crowd? Not in a bad way. Uh, what makes you you doesn't need to be something that's immoral uh, or obnoxious or, uh, or uncomfortable, uh, but just uniquely you. Just you. Now, I get a lot of comments on there on the channel a lot about my wardrobe. Uh, I spent a lot of years in Alaska, a lot of years riding in Alaska and then riding, you know, in Wyoming and Colorado and other places. And over the years, I've developed me, me, what works for me, what I like, what I'm comfortable with, whether it be my wardrobe, whether it be the beard, whether it be the hair. Uh, whether it be the rifles and the handguns that I carry when I'm hunting and out in the woods, whatever it is, it's me. And I don't ask, what is everybody around me doing? And so that's what I need to do. When I went and got the job in Colorado, I guess it was last summer, um, and, uh, well, summer before last, uh, when I showed up, I was me. And I had the Filson vests, and I had a big old long beard. Uh, I had the black, this is my winter um, hat, uh, Resist All 7X. And uh, I saw no need to change. I saw no need to go start buying uh, short sleeve pearl snap shirts and, and straw hats, uh, square toed uh, came in boots and I saw no need to change. I, w I was me and I could cowboy uh, being me the same as I could cowboy trying to look like somebody else. Uh, the, I shaved the beard after a while because during branding and uh, that time of year we spent a lot of time out in the in the lots and in the pens with the cattle and there was so much wind and so much dust that it just stayed dirty all the time. And I couldn't, I couldn't keep it decent. I couldn't keep it nice. And so I shaved it because that's what I needed to do for me. But then when I got to where it was practical again, I grew it back out. Why? Because it's me. Um, because it's me. And you'll not find, um, what's the word I want? Confidence in yourself if you don't know who yourself is. You won't find confidence in yourself if you're so busy trying to figure out what everybody around you thinks you ought to be and then match that because you're not gonna make people around you happy. You're not going to, okay? Um, and uh, so you need to be you. Uh, young ladies, uh, if there's any young ladies watching this, uh, right now, um, society, social media, 
says that you need to dress and conduct yourself like you're making money on a street corner in LA somewhere. And you're like, there's something deep inside of you that's like, eh, it's kind of cheap. I, I don't know. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be you. Be you. Okay? Don't let social media and culture and television and media tell you how you should be and what you should be and who you should be. Now again, there are people who will use that as an excuse to be immoral or to be obnoxious or to be hateful uh, or to be uh, irritating. I'm not talking about that, okay? I think if you've watched any of my videos, you, you know I'm not, I'm not talking about that. Um, I'll give an example here that my wife has warned me I should not give. And I'm probably going to regret it because my wife is the wiser of the two. And usually when I don't follow her advice, I pay for it. Uh, but I'm going, today is December 25th. It's Christmas Day. Now, my last name is N-O-E-L. We pronounce it Noel, but there's others who pronounce it Noel. My last name literally means Christmas. That's what it means. Now, listen to what I'm saying and listen to all of my words when I say this, okay? I don't celebrate Christmas. Now, we bought some Christmas gifts for the grandkids. We don't, I don't have a problem with Christmas. I don't have a problem with Christmas. I don't have a problem with those who celebrate Christmas. And when people say, wish me a Merry Christmas, I happily wish it back. I hope you do have a Merry Christmas. Uh, it's good. Am I a Christian? Yes, I am. Do I believe uh, in the birth of Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. Do I believe he was born of a virgin? Do I believe in Bethlehem and all? Of course I do. Absolutely I do. Um, but I think over the years we've become lockstep and we've completely lost what it's about. And I got to the point where I said, you know, if a Christian is only a Christian on Christmas and Easter, is he really even a Christian? And... Uh, and then, you know, all the other stuff. I read too much. I used to read a lot. Study too much. And knowledge is a burden. And a lot of our Christmas traditions, I studied out where they came from and where they actually began, which was long before um, what we recognize today. And I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't really want to carry on that. And so, but my point is not that you shouldn't do it. My point is this is me. And although I'm in a culture and in a society where everybody's doing it, I don't do it. I'm perfectly fine with everybody else doing it, but I'm just not comfortable with it. I'm me. I haven't had a Christmas tree in 20 years. And my cigar went out. Um, so you just be confident in you. When, when my wife and I, we go, when we go out, we go shopping, I try not to separate, which means I'll follow her through the groceries, I'll follow her through the vegetable aisle, and I'll follow her through all that because um, if we separate invariably with my bad knee, I'm limping all over the store trying to find her. Uh, and, uh, but sometimes we get separated and she comes looking for me and she never has any trouble finding me. Because I kind of stand out. All right? I kind of stand out. Um, I, uh, I don't look like the sheep. All right? I'm me. I want to wear an old black felt hat. I do. I want a beard. I grow it. Uh, <clears throat> my hair's getting kind of long. Yeah, it is. What are you going to do? Uh, nothing. Mama likes it, I like it, it's different uh, than what everybody around me is doing. It's definitely different in the cowboy world. You won't find another horse trainer on YouTube that looks like I do or sounds like I do or does like I do. And I'm not intimidated by that, okay? I'm me. My videos, I have folks who very kindly uh, get on and say, hey, I, I wanna help you for a small fee. I want to help you edit your videos. Don't want my videos edited. All right? We like the way it is. We, uh, we get on there. You can tell 
this cigar is half gone. I usually start a cigar when we start a video. So if we get on and you say, Dwayne, that Dwayne's cigar is about half gone, then you can say, they've started that video over, what are we, four or five times? Uh, we've started the video over. And because we like the way we do it, we get on, we do one take, uh, we got something on our mind, something on our heart, we share it with you. Uh, calm and easy. We don't do a lot of cuts. We don't do a lot of frenetic motion. We don't do a lot of music. We don't have a lot of. We just don't. This is the way we like. This is the way we like to do it. And we found that being us, it works. Um, it's not a bad thing to be unique. It's not a bad thing to be different. It's not a bad thing to be comfortable with yourself, regardless of what everybody else around you is doing. Okay. So anyhow, just want to encourage you with that. What is this cigar this morning? This is an Undercrown Maduro. Okay, uh, This was sent to me by the Cigar Place. Uh, I've mentioned them before in some of the videos. The Cigar Place is, is where I am now buying all my online cigars. Uh, anything I don't get from a, a local brick and mortar, I get from the Cigar Place. Um, this is an Undercrown Maduro. Interesting story about this. Uh, this is put out by Drew Estates. Drew Estates also puts out what is probably my favorite um, top shelf cigar, which is the Liga Pravada number no. nine. Now the problem they had when these Liga Pravadas came out was the rollers on the floor were smoking them while they were rolling cigars. And so the owners came in and said, hey, you know, we, you, you can't be doing that. Liga Pravada uh, translated is special blend. So they had special leaves and they only have them you know so often and and uh, so they're like we, we you can't be doing that so the rollers my understanding is the rollers came up with this blend to mimic the Liga Pravada with more common more accessible uh, tobacco leaves uh, the wrapper on this is a San Andreas Maduro and uh, which I really like a San Andreas so it's it's a working man's Liga Pravada. Let's, let's, let's do it like that, okay? Uh, there's, some, there's similarities in the flavor. It is uh, a definite step down, just one step down as far as the strength. It's not as strong as the Liga Pravada number no. nine, uh, but it's a really good cigar. And uh, so I wanna, I wanna thank Cigar Place. I wanna thank them for sending it to me. And uh, so I just, I hope you guys have a, have a good rest of the season. And uh, we do wish you all the best. And uh, don't, uh, don't forget, Mama's got her new channel now, uh, Dry Creek Mama. And she'll be putting the link in the description there. I have a Rumble channel now, for those who don't know yet. And that's where I do a lot more of the, the uh, cigar and pipe content. And we just did one today. I had a lot of requests on talking about growing a beard. A lot of guys said, hey, you know, talk about growing and taking care of a beard and everything. We just did one there putting that over on rumble so if you want to go check that out mom will be putting that link in there too and we do have a patreon account if you uh for those of you who want to to support what we're trying to do here and, and uh, we're trying to help folks so um again we wish you all the best and we'll catch you all next time